YouTube channel of Olive Board. So it's 7 a.m. and it's the time for editorial. So please let me know if I'm audible and visible to you all so that we can quickly start this session. Ek bar pata se mujhe bata dijiye ki aap sabhi log mujhe dekh pa rahe, sun pa rahe hain so that we can start this session. Oh. Yes. See, today also we will start our editorial with a quote, motivation quote. ठीक है? The success of getting ahead is getting started. कि देखिए कोई भी चीज़ अगर आप करने के लिए सोचते हैं, तो the first step that you will have to take is you will have to start that thing. वो चीज़ अगर आप शुरू करेंगे, then only you will be able to know the outcome. कि आप वो कर पा रहे हैं या नहीं कर पा रहे हैं, okay? So the most important thing is to take a step. Like we said. कि the journey of thousand miles begins with a single step. कि एक step लेंगे, start करेंगे, then only you will get to know कि whether you are able to do or not. So please जो काम आप करना चाहते हैं, start कर दीजिए and definitely you will see कि you will get, you will be successful. Good morning कविता, good morning everyone. Okay? So काफी अच्छा quote है. Apply this in your life and you will see the difference. Now yesterday's homework was this. I hope you all read this article. पढ़ा होगा अच्छा article था. Good morning, Rajiv. Good morning, Shubham. Good morning, everyone. Keep the pressure. Ye kal ka ek article tha. One article we discussed. Okay. And one article was this. On the conviction of Mumbai attacks handled in Pakistan. Ki jo Mumbai mein attack hua tha, uske jo doshi the basically. To Meer ki baat ho rahi thi. You might have read. Ki unke conviction ki baat ho rahi thi. Ki unhe convict kiya jai. Okay. The entire article was based on this. Mumbai. Good morning, Jitendra. So now tell me. Keep up the pressure. मतलब कि pressure को बनाए रखना है ताकि वो जो दोषी थे उनको जल्द से जल्द convict किया जा सके, India लाया जा सके, okay सजा सुनाई जा सके. So what was the tone of this article? Good morning, real. Can anyone tell me कि what was the tone of this article? How many of you have read this article? पढ़ा कितने था? Shubham, you asked me for that link. I shared you the link also. Did you go through this? Concern basically you can say Yes, actually it was informative. It was informative. It was providing suggestion. Yes, at the last concern was also there that India has to take a step. Okay, so a concern or suggestion you can also say that that was also a tone. Information it was providing. So it was informative and this. Yes, yes. Please go through the article. Okay. So this was the homework. The tone was informative. You can say concerned was the tone. Okay. Either of these two other examination may aata hai because uh, so you can mark these two things. Now let's start today's session. Before starting, it is my humble request that please subscribe to our YT channel. Jo log first time dekh rahe hain, please subscribe to our YT channel and like this video. Like this video, share this video guys. Share this with maximum because there are many students who English ki wajah se they are unable to read the article wo editorial dekhte hi nahi hai because they, don't, they are unable to follow that. So basically this session is to boost up your uh, those students also ki they can even also understand the article and they can take this initiative ki wo bhi article pad sakte hai, editorial pad sakte hai and they should also be benefited. So please share this session with others. Okay. Download our app अगर आपने अभी तक नहीं डाउनलोड किया होगा किया है, so please download our Hollywood app. Okay. And let's have the glimpse of this session कि क्या-क्या करने वाले हैं. So first we will start with the revision session. Whatever we discuss, जो भी हमने vocab कल discuss किए थे, quickly we will have a revision session. Then we will discuss vocabs of today's session. और आज के session का जो vocab होगा, we will discuss that. Idioms and phrases जो भी होंगे, we will discuss those idioms and phrases. Phrasal verbs, complete analysis of today's articles, grammar, everything we will be. Like, pura 360 degree aapka article cover hone wala hai. So, everything we will be discussing in this session. And then, we at last, we will see the tone or objective of this article. And you will have your practice exercise. Okay. So, I hope we all are done. Let's start this article. Quickly, the uh, revision session is before you. Please match the following. कौन सा वर्ड किसके साथ पेयर होगा? Again, I'm giving you 40 seconds to solve this. Good morning, Shivani. Good morning, everyone. काफी अच्छे वो कैप्स थे कल के. तो quickly 40 seconds आपको दे रही हूँ मैं. एक बार सॉल्व कर लीजिए, then I will discuss all these things.
मीनिंग ऑफ द वर्ड फिलीबस्टर आई टोल्ड फिलीबस्टर का मतलब होता है किसी भी चीज को डीले करना या पुट ऑफ दे इज अजर वर्ब दैट इज कॉल्ड पुट ऑफ प्रोक्रेस्टिनेशन टाल देना किसी चीज को जानबूझ के देर करना दैट इज कॉल्ड फिली बस्टर ओके अपहोल्ड अपहोल्ड मीन्स वॉट सपोर्ट अपहोल्ड मीन्स सपोर्ट करेक्ट क्लाइंडस्टाइन वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस वर्ड क्लाइंडस्टाइन इट मीन्स सीक्रेट आई टोल्ड वन गुड वर्ड दैट इज कॉल्ड सर्रेप्टीशियस यस सर्रेप्टीशियस क्लाइंडस्टाइन स्टेल थी सीक्रेट दीज ऑल आर दिनोनिम्स ऑफ द वर्ड क्लाइंडस्टाइन यस वेरी गुड वेरी गुड यस partisan what is the meaning of the word partisan quickly partisan hmm. Hmm. biased very good partisan means biased it is directly matched very good partisan means what biased supporter of something basically a negative sign pe jata hai ki aap kisi cheez ko support kar rahe hain okay so partisan is biased supporter very good yes peril peril is for danger correct peril is for danger perilous dangerous peril ka matlab kya hota hai danger khatra inhuman see inhuman ki meaning i told you yes this is for peril let me write the uh, options also filibuster is for fifth this is this will be matched with a uphold will be matched with b that is support clandestine will be matched with seven this is c partisan will be matched with d it is already given peril will be matched with danger that is a okay yes callous inhuman means callous see you got to learn one more word ek acha word aur mila aapko callous rude cruel these all are synonyms so inhuman means callous inhuman means callous rude cruel these all are synonyms and then we have got fraud so fraud i told full of basically ye kis mein jata hai negative sense mein full of something that gives you undesired result okay jo galat result aapko de that is called fraud very good well done correct full of something fill with rajiv full of something remember these prepositions also we always say full of something and filled with something so these are minute nuances so you should know ki ye jo minor minor differences hote hain ye zarur pata hona chahiye callous is an adjective us and yes callous is an adjective that means rude cruel meena very good morning so guys this was about revision session last session mein we saw certain idioms and phrases also just we will have a quick revision of that on the ballot on the ballot means able to be voted for on the ballot means able to be voted for कि जिसको आप वोट बैंक में जो बेसिकली पॉलिटिशियंस कुछ कुछ इश्यू होते हैं जो यूज कर लेते हैं करेक्ट सो दैट इज कॉल्ड ऑन द बैलेंट नेक्स्ट एट द ग्रास रूट एट द ग्रास रूट मीन द वेरी फाउंडेशन और बेस जिसको हम कॉर्नर स्टोन भी कहते हैं किसी भी चीज की नीव को कहा जाता है दिस इज द फाउंडेशन करेक्ट करेक्ट बैलेट पेपर वाला ही है सो कॉर्नर स्टोन फाउंडेशन बेस दिस मीन्स एट द ग्रास रूट रोल्स बैक रोल बैक मीन्स एबोलिश नलीफाई इनवेलिडेट ओवरटर्न जैसे कभी कभी गवर्नमेंट किसी जजमेंट को वापस ले लेता है दैट इज कॉल्ड रोल बैक एबोलिश नलीफाई इनवेलिडेट ओवरटर्न ओके दिस इज रोल बैक टेक अवे स्नैच नलीफाई यस टेक अवे मीन्स स्नैच कोई चीज दे करके वापस ले लेना दैट इज कॉल्ड टेक अवे टेक एन अवे द राइट ऑफ समथिंग तो इसका मतलब वापस ले लेना छीन लेना In effect, it means in fact, really. In effect means in fact, really. Vasto me. Stack up means arrange the number of things, pile up things. चीजों को arrange करना, pile up करना, or to make sense that is called stack up. Okay. So this was about yesterday's session. पूरा idiom हमने revise कर लिया. Whatever vocabs we learned, because कर काफी अच्छे words देखे थे. We have revised all those things. Correct. Rai ka pahad is a different thing, Subham. Right, that part is a different thing. That is like the uh, casting mountain of a molehill. That is called right, that part. This is what the stacking of things means. Arranging number of things. बहुत सारी चीज़ एक साथ कर लेना. Good morning, Bhano. Makes sense. It also means makes sense. किसी भी चीज़ का sense आना. Okay. Now let's start today's session. यहाँ से हमारा आज का session start होता है. 
आज के सेशन में जो भी वो कैप्स हैं वे विल सी ऑल दो थिंग्स एंड देन वी विल सी दो एडिटोरियल सो द फर्स्ट वर्ड फॉर टूडे इज एंट्रिम एंट्रिम का मतलब होता है टेम्परेरी प्रोविजनल इंट्रिम वर्ड मीन वॉट टेम्परेरी प्रोविजनल जो कुछ देर के लिए रहती है जैसे इंट्रिम रिपोर्ट आपने हमेशा सुना होगा इंट्रिम रिपोर्ट इंट्रिम गवर्नमेंट आपने हमेशा सुना होगा सो दिस इज वॉट जो कुछ देर के लिए गवर्नमेंट बनाई जाती है गुड मॉर्निंग ललित गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन सो दैट इज कॉल इंट्रिम क्लियर एवरी वन आई होप इट इज परफेक्टली क्लियर भानु एक बार आप चेक कर लीजिए यस इंट्रिम करेक्ट वेरी गुड कि बहुत जगह इंट्रिम वर्ड का यूज होता है सिंपली याद रखिएगा इंट्रिम का मतलब होता है टेम्परेरी इट मीन प्रोविजनल इंट्रिम सेटिस्फेक्शन वेरी गुड कि सेटिस्फेक्शन तो इट इज ऑलवेज टेम्परेरी ओनली इन सर माउंटेबल देखिये ये भी वर्ड काफी अच्छा है इसके काफी सिनेम्स यूज किए गए हैं इन द एंटायर आर्टिकल इन सर माउंटेबल का मतलब दैट कैन नॉट बी कॉन्कर्ड जिसे आप जीत नहीं सकते दैट कांट बी कॉन्कर्ड इसको आप दोनों वे में समझ सकते हैं Either that cannot be conquered or that cannot be defeated. जिसे कोई हरा नहीं सकता जिसे कोई जीत नहीं सकता दे बोथ मीन द सेम थिंग दैट इज कॉल्ड इन सर माउंटेबल क्लियर एवरी वन जिसे कोई हरा नहीं सकता जिससे कोई जीत नहीं सकता दैट इज कॉल्ड इन इन सर माउंटेबल अनकॉन्करेबल अनअसलेबल दीज आर द मीनिंग दीज आर दिनेम्स इवन यू कैन हैव द सिनेम इन विंसिबल एक और वर्ड होता है दैट इज कॉल्ड इन विंसिबल ऑलमोस्ट दीज ऑल आर सिनेम्स थैंक यू रियल सी वॉट एवर वी आर डूइंग दैट इज फॉर यू पीपल बिकॉज वो कैप्स अगर मैं आज बता दू कल उसका रिविजन ना करूं तो इट इज लाइक आप एक दिन में फिफ्टी वर्ड्स भी लर्न कर लीजिए बट इफ यू आर अनेबल टू मेमोराइज दो फ्यूटाइल यूजलेस है यस इन सर माउंटेबल करेक्ट नेक्स्ट वर्ड इज फ्रेगमेंटेड फ्रेगमेंट का मतलब आपको पता है देखिए वो कैप्स को थोड़ा सा समझ के करेंगे तो यू विल ऑलवेज रिमेमोरेट फ्रेगमेंट का मतलब होता है पीसेस पीस ऑफ समथिंग पीसेस ओके फ्रेगमेंट्स यू ऑल नो फ्रेगमेंटेड का मतलब क्या होता है कि दिस इज यूज एज अ वर्ब इट इज यूज एज अ वर्ब इंट्रेम इज वॉट इट इज एन एब्जेक्टिव इन सर माउंटेबल इज ऑल्सो एन एब्जेक्टिव बट फ्रेगमेंटेड वर्ड इज यूज एज अ वर्ब इसका मतलब होता है कि शैटर्ड बिखर जाना पीसेस में छोटे छोटे टुकड़ों में बट जाना दैट इज कॉल्ड फ्रेगमेंटेड क्लियर एवरी वन फ्रेगमेंट्स आप याद कर सकते हैं फ्रेगमेंट इज द नाउन दैट इज पीस एंड फ्रेगमेंटेड एज अ वर्ब मीन पीस टुकड़ों में बट जाना और यू कैन से शैटर्ड एक्सप्लोडेड दीज आर दिनेम्स ऑफ फ्रेगमेंटेड नेक्स्ट आउटकम आउटकम बेसिकली मीन रिजल्ट दिस इज नाउन आउटकम इज वॉट नाउन इट मीन रिजल्ट और कंसिक्वेंस ऑफ एनीथिंग किसी भी चीज का परिणाम करेक्ट किसी भी चीज के परिणाम को वी कॉल आउटकम एंड देन नेक्स्ट वी हैव सेट बैक सेट बैक को यू विल हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस वर्ड नाउन की तरह यूज होता है सेट बैक मीन प्रॉब्लम डिफिकल्टी मुसीबत जिसे कहते हैं बट सेट बैक वर्ड इज ऑल्सो यूज फॉर रिवर्सल इट इज ऑल्सो यूज फॉर रिवर्सल कि कभी आप बहुत अच्छा परफॉर्म कर रहे हैं बट अचानक से यू गॉट अ सेट बैक इसका मतलब कि आप जो है वापस जाने लगे आप सफलता से धीरे धीरे नीचे की ओर जाने लगे ओके सो दैट इज कॉल्ड सेट बैक इट मीन प्रॉब्लम डिफिकल्टी और रिवर्सल ऑफ समथिंग रिवर्स स्टेज पे जाना यस इफ यू इंप्रूव इट करेक्ट गुड मॉर्निंग हरीश गुड मॉर्निंग यस ओवरटर्न इज उसे लाइक पूरी चीजें पलट जानी रिवर्सल यू कैन से यस धीरे धीरे लाइक मूविंग टूअर्ड्स डाउनवर्ड फेस दैट इज कॉल्ड सेट बैक सी बैक इट सेल्फ रेफर्स टू ओरिजिनल स्टेज so from success if you are moving downwards that is called setback simple bastion now see last time if you remember we learnt one word bulwark in one of the articles only humne ek word sikha tha bulwark now you have got one more word that is called bastion bulwark bastion these all words we use for castle good morning jyotish moy all these words we use for castle kile ke liye use hota hai ye sare words now what this can also be used for protection this can also be used for yes protection of course see because try to relate the words fort is the most protected part of a city fort kya hota hai jo kila hota hai pure shahar ka sabse surakshit part hota hai so that is why whether it is bastion bulwark fort castle these all words are used for protection fortification correct fortification means majboot karna yes next validation 
वैलिडेट यू नो किसी भी चीज को प्रूफ करना किसी भी चीज की वैलिडिटी या क्यूरेसी को प्रूफ करना दैट इज कॉल्ड वैलिडेशन ओके साबित कर देना कि हाँ ये सही है सो प्रूफ द वैलिडिटी और एक्यूरेसी ऑफ समथिंग दैट इज कॉल्ड वैलिडेशन इट इज ऑल्सो अनाउन बास्टियन वर्ड इज ऑल्सो अनाउन ऑल दीज वर्ड अनाउन फोर्टी फाइव इज अबूसैन फोर्टे इज स्ट्रेंथ फोर्टे इज स्ट्रेंथ फोर्टी फाइव इज अब दैट मीन्स मजबूत करना ओके टू स्ट्रेंथ इन समथिंग दैट इज कॉल्ड फोर्टी फाइव वोसीफेरस नो दिस इज ऑल्सो गुड वर्ड दिस इज एन एडजेक्टिव वोसीफेरस वोसीफेरस मीन्स फोर्सफुल आउट स्पोकन जिसे हम कैंडिड कहते हैं कि बिन किसी से डर नहीं है जो मन में आएगा वी विल से दैट वी सेंट ही इज अ आउट स्पोकन कैंडिडेट आउट स्पोकन कैंडिडेट मीन्स वॉट कैंडिड ऑल्सो वी से वेरी फ्रांक not afraid of anyone whatever i feel i will say that thing so vociferous basically we use in that case only forceful outspoken okay spearheaded spearheaded means to head or lead something kisi bhi cheez ko acha rakhi savant is what out garrulous is talkative bharti don't get confused my dear garrulous is talkative one who talks a lot jo zyada baatein karta use garrulous kehte hain okay बट वोसीफेरस मीन्स आउट स्पोकन आउट स्पोकन मीन्स की टू बी नॉट अफ्रेड जैसे कुछ पॉलिटिशियंस होते हैं ना दे आर वेरी आउट स्पोकन कुछ भी बोल देंगे दे आर नॉट अफ्रेड ऑफ एनी वन सो दैट इज कॉल्ड आउट स्पोकन स्पेट इट मीन्स टू हेड और लीड समथिंग किसी भी चीज को आगे बढ़ाना हेड करना लीड करना दैट इज कॉल्ड स्पेटेड इमासिएशन दिस एडजेक्टिव इट कैन बी यूज एज एडजेक्टिव ऑल्सो वर्ब ऑल्सो यू नो ओके लॉक्वेसियस गैरुलस दीज आर टॉकेटिव यस करेक्ट garrulous is a common word guys loquacious garrulous these are synonyms it means talkative iska matlab hota hai talkative zyada baatein karne wala chatterbox we call it jo bahut bolta ho chatterbox i'm a garrulous person i'm a chatterbox okay next emaciation another very good word it is used as a noun but uh, you might uh, get this word as a verb also emaciate ka bhi use ho sakta hai emaciation word has been derived from the word emaciate only emaciation means the state of becoming weak or thin koi bhi cheez kamzor ho jati hai thin ho jati hai that is called emaciation my illness emaciated me emaciated means what weakened weakened kamzor kar dena clear everyone emaciate is what verb it means to weaken something kisi ko kamzor kar dena and emaciation is a noun which means the state of becoming weak or thin ki jo wo avastha hoti hai jisme hum koi cheez kharab ho jati hai weak ho jati hai that is called emaciation very good morning jagyasini now potency is again a noun potency is again a noun vanakkam arju what is this vanakkam is it telugu i guess so it is telugu no? potency is strength yes yes you can use these words potency is strength vigor power potency ka matlab kya hota hai strength vigor power that is called the tamil okay it is noun unassailable right now i told you one synonym for this word that is insurmountable so unassailable insurmountable these are synonyms invincible ye bhi synonym hai it means that cannot be defeated or attacked jise koi defeat nahi kar sakta jise koi attack nahi kar sakta that is called unassailable clear everyone underscore see this is how you get new words okay underscore if you remember two three article back only we learned this word underscore that means to emphasize on something i guess even on saturday we learned this word underscore means to emphasize on something so it is used as a verb unassailable is an adjective solace means what comfort again it is a noun unconquerable correct that is what unassailable underscore is a verb that means emphasis stress on something emphasize on something stress on something that is called underscore solace basically we call not peace comfort or relief okay comfort or relief i seek solace in teaching i seek solace in teaching it means what i seek comfort in teaching clear everyone these are some important vocabs for today ye sare important words hain next you have idioms now in this article we have even used some good idioms also kafi acche idioms ka bhi use hua hai 
द फर्स्ट वन इज वेरी कॉमन मेक द डे वी ऑलवेज से ना योर मैसेज मेड बाई डे योर मैसेज मेड बाई डे इट मीन्स टू मेक समन्स डे हैप्पी एंड प्लेजेंट किसी के दिन को अच्छा बना देना जिम्बलैनिटी इज डिफरेंट थिंग That is the opposite of serendipity. And anyways, zimblanity word is not in the dictionary. This is the coinage of one author. Ki one particular author has used this word. So if you call it a term, but it cannot be called a universal word that you will get the meaning in dictionary real. It is the antonym of serendipity. Make the day means to make someone's day happy and pleasant. Kisi ke din ko acha bana dena. Okay. In a bind, this is the idiom used here. Difficulty, threatening, or embarrassing position. In a bind means difficulty. It means threatening or embarrassing position. किसी के लिए जो threatening position होती है, embarrassing position होती है, that is also called in a bind. Okay. And then next we we heard in a shambles. In a shamble is also an idiom. See, shamble is different thing. Shamble is different thing. In a shamble means what? Chaotic. Yes. Chaotic situation. All these words have been used for situation only. In a bind situation, threatening or embarrassing position. In a shambles, chaotic situation. When something is not in proper order, everything is uthal puthal. We call topsy turvy. So that is called in in a shambles. And at the crossroads. See crossroad meaning I you you all know crossroad you all know juncture. meeting point of two roads that is called cross road okay juncture junction juncture whatever you call it at the cross road means a stage where an important decision has to be made matlab wo stage wo avastha where you will have to take some important decision that is called at the cross roads so anyhow you can link it with cross roads okay hesitate is for what husain husain for what are we using this word hesitate Yes, yes. See, chaotic is a noun. Oh, sorry, adjective. Chaotic is an adjective, and chaos is a noun. Of course, it has been derived from chaos only. Chaos is a noun, so chaotic word has been derived from this only. Yes. Now, phrasal verbs. Now, the article that I chose today, in that there was idioms. Uh, there was good usage of idiom. Idiom अच्छा use हुआ था, but phrasal verbs ज़्यादा नहीं थे. so for your learning because in every editorial we have to learn certain phrasal verbs also so one or two phrasal verbs i have taken from some other article the hindu ka hi aaj ke article the jo dusre article the usse liya hai and some important phrasal verbs i have given on my own okay so the first phrasal verb is shorn off ye aapko dusre article mein milega wimbledon se related there was one article you will get this shorn see shorn is the third form of shear shear shore shorn this is the form Everything can be a learning for you, Arun. Everything can be a learning for you. Okay. Shorn off means to have something valuable or important taken away from you. You can understand it this way. Sharing word. Do where do we use the sharing word? Sharing we use for that cutting the hair of wool, uh, the sheep and all. जो sheep वगैरह के जो wool निकालते हैं ना, that is called sharing. That process is called sharing. So if you know the meaning of the word share. so you can easily relate it with this idiom that is called shorn off phrasal verb it means to have something valuable or important taken away from you ki aapke andar se koi cheez important aapki koi valuable cheez agar koi le le that is called shorn off clear everyone like we take wool from sheep so wool is the valuable position uh, uh, valuable uh, thing of sheep but if we are taking it out so we are shorning it off clear everyone I hope you are going to remember this word. To have something valuable or important taken away from you, snatched from you. See again, another phrasal verb, take away. It means snatch. Fall off. Harsh करके या बिना harsh किए हुए. We don't uh, we don't trouble them by by taking this. Is it so, guys? Is it clear now? Pooja, okay. Now fall off. See another very important phrasal verb. Very important phrasal verb that is abandon, decrease. Fall off we use for abandon. Fall off we use for decrease. See both are the ways. 
दोनों वे में यूज हो सकता है एंड दिस इज गोइंग टू बी योर होमवर्क फॉल ऑफ मीन्स अबेंडन फॉल ऑफ मीन्स वॉट डिक्रीज ओके जैसे फॉल्स फ्रेंड फॉल्स फ्रेंड्स फॉल ऑफ इन एडवर्सिटी इन एडवर्सिटी नो वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस वर्ड दे अबेंडन अर्स इन दिस एडवर्सिटी जब मुसीबत आती है तो फॉल्स फ्रेंड्स क्या होते हैं वो हमें छोड़ के चले जाते हैं क्लियर so this is what fall of means and it can also be used in terms of decrease the business fell of this quarter the business fell of this quarter it means it declined this quarter okay then we have fall out see these phrasal verbs you will have to remember because iska jab tak aap usage nahi karenge you will not get okay fall out means what quarrel the two brothers fell out good morning abhishek the two brothers fell out with each other so this is what quarreled with each other clear everyone jhagda yes fall out means quarrel fall off means abandon or decrease shorn off means to have something valuable or important taken away from you so this was all about phrasal verbs of today's session now let's start this article before starting it is my humble request to all of you that if there is anyone who wants to join olibot platform you can recommend our batch that is banking super elite you can recommend this course anyways it is completely your choice their choice whatever they want they can join banking light banking elite banking super elite and for purchasing anything on olibot platform you can use my code saba to get additional 5% discount you will get additional 5% discount okay then banking super elite it has you get access to all the live classes video lectures exam wise courses subject wise courses so all these things you get access to and you even get practice sets okay analysis also you get so that is why we always suggest we always recommend that banking super elite good morning hari krishna now let's start to this article quickly vishek i will share you the link okay see telegram is my learn english with saba the telegram page is learn english with saba you can join this group for all the updates on my classes and pdf of every lecture and pdf of every lecture bharti besides i have created one more group that is ask your doubts by saba ma'am yes ask your doubts by saba ma'am so you can join this group for your doubts for if you have any doubts if you need my help assistance anywhere so you can join this group ask your doubts with sabha ma'am with sabha ma'am sorry next now let's start today's article quickly we have to see so many things don't join a group uh, i'm sorry harish today only after this session only i will share you the link in my main group in my learn english with sabha i will share the main group okay What is is this signal signal okay? बट विम्बलडन में सिर्फ फिगर्स दिए हुए थे तो कुछ लर्निंग आपकी ज्यादा नहीं होती वहां से सो दैट इज वाई आई हैव चोजन दिस आर्टिकल ओके एनी वेज प्लीज स्टॉप पर्सनल चैट्स एंड कंसेंट्रेट हियर सो फर्स्ट टाइम इन द बिगनिंग ओनली आई एम टेलिंग डोंट गेट पर्सनल ऑन दीज थिंग्स सो वी हैव टू जस्ट टेक टेक अवे द इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग्स जो भी लर्निंग होगी वी हैव टू फोकस ऑन दैट ओके On BJP posing insurmountable challenge to the opposition, you know कि अभी result आया है कुछ कुछ constituency का, so on that this is article is basically on that BJP posing insurmountable challenge to the opposition कि BJP ने opposition के सामने एक ऐसा challenge कर दिया है कि no one can defeat BJP. You can say कि BJP day by day it is becoming invincible as a political party it is becoming invincible. Okay, so the entire article is based on this only. the bjp is posing a seemingly insurmountable challenge to a fragmented opposition now see if you talk about any opposition party see we are talking on reality okay so they all have been fragmented sare kya ho gaye tukdon mein bat gaye hain they have shattered fragmented with what 
to a shattered opposition. Earlier, opposition used to be powerful, but these days, opposition doesn't have any power. Okay? Yes. So, shattered opposition, in front of shattered opposition, BJP is posing insurmountable challenge, unconquerable challenge. Bikrava, correct. Crumbled, yes. The outcomes in, outcomes means what? Results. Outcomes means what? Results. The outcomes in three Lok Sabha constituencies, what are those? One in Punjab and two in Uttar Pradesh make significant political points unusual for such routine bipoles. Okay. Now, the results of these three constituencies, ki inke jo result aai hai, ye kuch significant teeze abtati hai mein, significant political points ye suggest karti hai. And basically, such points are unusual for these routine bipoles. Kyunki ye jo election tha, ye koi bhoot major election nahi tha. Kisi assembly ke election nahi tha. So basically, it is like uh, not routine to say anything for such uh, routine by polls. Okay. Have faced a major setback in Punjab. Now setback. Hmm. Have faced a major setback in Punjab. Setback as I told it means reversal. Setback ka matlab kya hota? Reversal. Guys please concentrate on the article. Okay. Reversal. See you might have known ki abhi aapne jo abhi assembly election hua tha to aap was the winner of that election in Punjab. Okay. But now, in this election, Lok Sabha constituency election, whatever happened, AAP faced a major setback. Now, it is facing some uh, that uh, success is a nahi mili. It has faced failure. Has it lost its bastion Sangrur, which was vacated by Chief Minister Bhagwat Man, who had won it in 2014 and 2019? Now, the most important seat in Punjab for AAP was Sangrur. Okay, it was like a fort for it. AAP was, well, yes, bulwark for, yes, correct. Aap was very much uh, that too, assured, ki wo bohut jyada assured thi ki it will win, uh, it will win this seat, but unfortunately it lost this seat, okay, and this seat was vacated by the chief minister Bhagwat Man, and Bhagwat Man had won it in 2014 also and in 2019 also, but this time Aap lost that seat. The party's assembly victory in Punjab was seen as a validation of its national ambitions, but Sunday's setback must serve as a reality check. Now, when AAP, it won the election, it won Punjab constituency in assembly election, ki jab assembly election mein se jita tha, to it was showing that ki there is some point ki AAP can become a national party. Abhi to wo ek area tak hi limited hai, Delhi tak hi hai. But there was certain, uh, like, uh, guess ki it can become a national party. But now Sunday's election, Ye jo setback Sunday ko mila hai, reversal mila hai, that it lost even seats in uh, Punjab also, must serve as a reality check. Ke, ke now AAP has to realize it thing. It is what it is a reality check. Yes, Abhishek, very good. Very good. Vacated by this only, Chief Minister Bhagwat Man. Anjo, what do you want to ask? Vacated by means? Yes. He is the person who vacated that seat because right now he is the Chief Minister. Okay. Please uh, clear your doubt. Uh, what do you want to ask? Are you asking about preposition? Vacated by means khali kar dena. Yes. Empty seat. Yes, correct. To make it empty. To make it empty. The seat was vacated by Chief Minister Bhagwat Man. Because he had, and this Bhagwat won, he had won this, won this seat in 2014 and 2019. Okay, next. If anything, AAP's performance in Punjab in the last three months, far from proving, proving its capacity to be a national party, has only raised several questions. Now, if we talk about, AAP, if we talk about AAP's performance in Punjab, so it has not, uh, in three months, like after gaining power, power mein aane ke baad se, agar uske kisi cheez ki baat ho hai, to it is only we are talking about its capacity to be a national party, and that has raised several questions. Correct. Vacant se liya kya hai? So, it has raised several questions because it couldn't prove its capacity. AAP was, AAP failed to prove its capacity. As it turned out, the opposition, the Shiromani Akali Dal, SAD, SAD Amritsar, the Congress and the BJP, all fighting separately, made the point on the gap between AAP's promise and delivery and between its claim and capacity. Now, if I talk about opposition party, 
whether it was BJP or it was SAD or it was SAD Amritsar or Congress, they all were fighting separately. Sare alag alag lard hai thai, hai? But everyone made one point only that they all were showing the gap between Ops promise and its fulfillment. कि आपने जो वादा किया था और उसके डिलीवरी में कितना गैप है एवरीवन रिलाइड ऑन दैट थिंग ओनली ओके सो दे यूज्ड इट एज अ टूल टू विन देयर इलेक्शन नेक्स्ट पंजाब आई स्टेट विद इट्स फाइनेंशियल इन अ शैंबल्स इन अ शैंबल्स मींस व्हाट क्यूटिक and its bureaucracy and the police are law onto themselves the inexperienced band of activists that came to power is caught in a bind no punjab is such a state ki jahan par uske finances already hi bahut zyada chaotic situation mein hai like it is not growing well it is not doing well in terms of economy and even if we talk about bureaucracy and police that like they are also not listening to anyone unka khud ka hi law chalta hai correct disorder उनका खुद का ही लॉ चलता है द इन एक्सपीरियंस बैंड ऑफ एक्टिविस्ट नाउ जो नए नए एक्टिविस्ट आ रहे हैं इस कॉट इन अ बाइंड नाउ दे ऑल विल लैंड दिस स्टेट इनटू डिफिकल्टी इससे आप किस में आ सकता है प्रॉब्लम में आ सकता है मिस्टर मन आल्सो फेसेस द चार्ज ऑफ बीइंग रिमोट कंट्रोल फ्रॉम दिल्ली बाय पार्टी चीफ अरविंद केजरीवाल लाइक इट इट इज आल्सो एक्यूज दैट कि मिस्टर मन वो खुद से कोई डिसीजन नहीं लेते हैं ही इज नॉट एप्ट इन टेकिंग डिसीजन बिकॉज़ ही इज कंट्रोल्ड बाय पार्टी चीफ दैट इज अरविंद केजरीवाल The winner, Simran Jeet Singh Man of SAD. Now, who is the winner? He, he is the winner. Okay, made Sangroot as significant as the loser did. मतलब he made it as significant as the loser did it. He is a vociferous. Now he is used for Simran Simran Jeet Singh. He is a vociferous means outspoken supporter. लेकिन बिल्कुल किसी से कोई घबराना नहीं है. He is a outspoken supporter of Khalistan and an ardent. Ardent means what? Passionate follower. passionate follower of brindran wale who is headed who led the violent terrorist separatism of the 1980s now this person who won this seat he is what he is a blind supporter yes ardent passionate supporter of this brindran wale and this person was the leader of the violent terrorist separatism in 1980s ki usme ye kya kar rahe the lead kar rahe the he was the pioneer of this thing okay and his victory अब इनकी जो विक्ट्री है एंड द कंप्लीट इमेसिएशन ऑफ कांग्रेस इमेसिएशन मींस वीकनिंग कांग्रेस पूरी तरह से खत्म हो चुकी है करेक्ट द एसएडी एंड द बीजेपी सिग्नल्स द डेंजरस क्रॉस रोड्स द पंजाब इज एट कि पंजाब कितने प्रॉब्लम में है किस मुसीबत में है कितनी बड़ी uh, मुसीबत में आ रहा है तो दे ऑल आर सिग्निफाइंग दैट दे ऑल आर इंडिकेटिंग दैट इमेसिएशन मींस वीकन वीकनिंग ऑफ समथिंग Weakening of Congress. Okay. Yes. As the noun, we have used it. Mm-hmm. UP. हाँ तो गलत ही होगा. And fall in, you can use fall in. Yes, you can say. No juncture. Yes, that is crossroad means juncture. Fall in is to harmonize with something. The fall in का मतलब क्या होता है? Harmonize. Yes, concord में आ जाना. और सेपरेट हो जाने के लिए वी यूज फॉलो नो इन यूपी टिल नो वी हैव टॉक वी हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट पंजाब बिकॉज थ्री थ्री कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंसी का रिजल्ट आया था टू ऑफ यूपी एंड वन ऑफ पंजाब सो वी हैव डिस्कस्ड ऑफ पंजाब नाउ वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट यूपी इन यूपी द बीजेपी इज विक्ट्रीज इन रामपुर एंड आजमगढ़ प्रूव द कंटिन्यूइंग पोटेंसी ऑफ द पार्टी इन हार्टलैंड नो बीजेपी में हु इन यूपी में हु वाज द विनर बीजेपी no bjp's victory in rampur and azamgarh proved the continuing potency potency means what vigor strength no it is showing the strength of the party in the heartland up is what it is the center of bjp these days up gujarat ye sab kya hai bjp ke center states hain okay yes azamgarh was vacated by sp chief uh, sp samajwadi party chief akhilesh yadav who chose to retain the assembly seat and he won while the party lost a second consecutive time now azamgarh seat it was vacated by akhilesh yadav and uh, uh, this sp lost the elections a uh, second time in a row do bar haar chuki hai rampur seat was vacated by senior party leader azam khan who will retain his assembly seat okay that some strong holds have slipped out of its hand is further proof that sp's hope of a return in up may be unrealistic 
देखिए आजमगढ़ एंड रामपुर दीज वर द टू इम्पोर्टेंट सीट्स ऑफ एस पी समाजवादी पार्टी इन यूपी बट दीज टू सीट है उनके हाथ से जब निकल गई है यस यस करेक्ट अभिषेक सो नाउ इट इज वॉट इट इज लाइक की शोइंग की अब यूपी में समाजवादी पार्टी की पावर आना दिस इज वॉट दिस इज समथिंग अनरियलिस्टिक बिलीव नहीं किया जा सकता बहुत मुश्किल है इनको वापस आना पावर में and and its style, character and personnel are acceptable to large section of the voters. And BJP style है, character है, इनके जो person, uh, sorry, SP के, they are not acceptable to the voters. कि voters उनको पसंद नहीं कर रहे हैं yes. यूपी रिजल्ट मेक द बीजेपी पोजिशन अन असाइलेबल अब देखिए जो यूपी का जो रिजल्ट है ना इट इज मेकिंग द बीजेपी पोजिशन अगेन अन असाइलेबल मीन इनवेंसिबल की कोई से हरा नहीं सकता दे ऑल्सो ओपन न्यू पॉसिबिलिटीज इन द अपोजिशन स्पेस एज द स्पीस लाइट कंटिन्यूज की वहां पर अपोजिशन के भी पॉसिबिलिटीज आते हैं इन द मैकुर असेंबली सेगमेंट इन आंध्र प्रदेश चीफ मिनिस्टर जगमोहन रेड्डी वाई एस आर सी पी स्कोर्ड एंड इम्प्रेसिव विक्ट्री नाउ ही ऑल्सो आंध्र प्रदेश this ysrcp scored an impressive victory while a victory each in tirupura and jharkhand made the day for congress congress ke liye kuch relief ki baat hai because in congress tripura sorry in tirupura and jharkhand congress like they got victory cpi m continued to sink in tirupura its former stronghold now alag alag jagah pe kis kis party ki jeet hui kiski haar hui we are talking about all those things let me hide my camera for a while just आप रिटेन द राजेंद्र नगर असेंबली सीट बट दैट इज लिटिल सोलेज फॉर द पार्टी दैट लॉट इट्स रिप्रेजेंटेशन इन द लोकसभा इंटरली नाउ इफ वी टॉक अबाउट डेली तो आप रिटेन वन सीट ऑफ राजेंद्र नगर बट दिस दिस विनिंग इज अ लिटिल सोलेज की बहुत थोड़ा सा कंफर्ट ही पार्टी को दे सकती है बिकॉज आप हैज लॉस्ट ऑल द सीट इन लोकसभा पूरी तरह से वो हार गई है okay? Overall, the bipolar outcomes underscore underscore means what emphasize. कि ये जो result आए हैं election के bipolar means what election के जो result आए हैं. Good morning, Shiv Shankar. The continuing dominance of the uh, emphasize the continuing dominance of the BJP and the continuing inability of the opposition to rise to the challenge. Now, what does this election suggest? Result suggest? क्या suggest करते हैं? Yes, that. कंटिन्यूइंग डोमिनेंस ऑफ द बीजेपी कि बीजेपी इज कंटिन्यूइंग टू मेक इट्स डोमिनेंस कि वो धीरे धीरे लगातार वो हर जगह अपना प्रेजेंस एस्टेब्लिश कर रही है एंड द कंटिन्यूइंग इनएबिलिटी ऑफ द अपोजिशन टू राइज टू द चैलेंज एंड अपोजिशन डे बाय डे इट इज बिकमिंग इनेबल ओनली दैट इट कैन नॉट प्रूव टू बी चैलेंजिंग फॉर बीजेपी बीजेपी के सामने वो मतलब कोई कॉम्पिटिशन uh, ही नहीं दे पा रहे हैं अपोजिशन ओके सो देर इज नो कॉम्पिटिशन एंड ऑफ ग्रामर लर्निंग आर्टिकल इज क्लियर to everyone now we will come to the uh, this grammar learning okay. now it will be visible harish okay that's everything is there now let's start grammar learning it will be visible guys now everything is okay consolation comfort relief these all word mean solace you big you become big like bjp Don't compare teachers with political party. Yes, lack of effective leadership on opposition's part. Of course, correct. Yes. Now let's see the grammar part. Grammar learning is also very important. Now this is a sentence. Try to find error here. Try to find error here. Okay, everyone. I want each one of you. Yes, actually, I clicked something. Anyways, now uh, it is okay. Abhishek, quickly, guys. 
find the error i want every one of you to be very attentive kavita gave c to sanbol gave c very good c make make very good can you tell me what is the subject of this makes can anyone tell me what is the subject of this word makes subject kya iska yes what is the subject i am asking everyone is correct very good very good yes the outcomes in outcomes means what results it means what results outcomes is plural it has been used as a noun it has been used as a noun in three lok sabha constituencies one in punjab and two in uttar pradesh makes it this is incorrect because when the subject is plural we need a plural verb so the correct answer is make significant political points make significant political points next this is also a question what is wrong here what is incorrect here this is also a very good question a very good learning here suppose this is a part this is b part c part d part and last is your no error everyone please focus no this question can give you a chocolate abhishek kumar is saying into no law b me what is incorrect in b logesh varan what is wrong in b can you tell me yes yes if you are saying there is error in b part can you tell me what is wrong in b part everyone saying same thing now well, please let me discuss this onto unto is correct here now listen in punjab that is also correct this is a very good question it will give you so many learnings now please concentrate here in punjab a state with its finances its has been used for punjab state singular no 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 now please concentrate here i am telling you each and every point i am explaining the entire sentence to you all okay so just please concentrate here in punjab a state with its finances its has been used for punjab and we are talking about the finances of punjab so absolutely correct in a shambles now someone said that and most of you in examination also you will find this error only that a will be followed by singular noun shambles is incorrect but guys this is an idiom in a shambles is an idiom that i have told you right now that i have told you right now so idioms may you can't make any changes in a shambles is the exact word you can't change this shamble in shambles into shamble remember this thing okay so this part is absolutely correct don't make it shamble seeing a before it ki a article dekh kar ke aap iske pehle shamble nahi laga dijiyega this is absolutely correct then and its bureaucracy now this is has been used for finances and this it has been used for bureaucracy absolutely correct there is no error here okay and the police a law on unto themselves unto is also a word preposition it means ki they themselves are the law bureaucrats police they don't listen to anyone else they have their own law in punjab clear everyone so this preposition is also absolutely correct the inexperienced band of activists band of plural correct hai it is collective noun that came to power this is also correct and it came to power it came to power in past is caught in bind now the error is here in a bind is a what it is a, a phrase right now i told you the meaning also in a bind in a shambles these are the two idioms and this is how you will get errors based on idioms in your examination in a bind is a phrase that means difficulty difficulty 
that is why when you are reading an article whenever you are reading an article be very 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 attentive because through articles only we get to learn all these things article se hi aapko sare phrases sare idioms se sari cheeze sikhne ko milti hain so i hope now you are not going to uh, forget this someone gave the reply someone gave the reply and that was the correct reply yes game gamers world in a bind correct now suppose in exam in examination if you get in a shamble in a shamble if somewhere it is used then you then you should uh, be able to find the error here also yahan par bhi aapko error pata hona chahiye ki the correct shamble is a different word shamble of course it is a word it is correct but whenever we are talking about a phrase the correct phrase is in a shambles clear everyone so it is not always necessary ki grammar hi milega a preposition its pronoun these all things only you are going to find wrong no errors can be based on phrasal verbs they can be based on idioms also and article is the hindu and that is why i always choose that article ki jahan par aapko idioms wagaira ka usage jyada mile okay. now what was the tone of the passage quickly what was the tone of the passage article complete article concerned was uh, author concerned about anything kisi bhi cheez ko lekar ke chintit tha wo concerned was expressing his concern on anything explanatory explain laudatory how it can be laudatory arjun he was not praising anything guys try to uh, understand the context he was not praising bjp he was not praising bjp he was just telling you the facts ki in punjab sad won in up bjp won so these are not the tone ki ye fact bata raha hai ki result jo tha election ka so whenever we are discussing about the result of anything so jo jeeta hai uske bare mein batayenge jo haara hai uske bare mein batayenge the tone is neutral simple the tone is neutral neither he is concerned Nor he is praising anything. ऐसा नहीं है कि आप हार गए तो आपको लेकर के बहुत कंसर्न था यस एक्सप्लेनिंग एक्सप्लेनेटरी तो था यू कैन से इट वॉज एक्सप्लेनेटरी सजेस्टिव बट इफ आई टॉक अबाउट टोन टोन वॉज न्यूट्रल फैक्चुअल इन्फो और जब भी फैक्ट बेस्ड पैसेज होंगे गाइस रिमेंबर दिस थिंग वेन एवर अ पैसेज इज बेस्ड ऑन एनी फैक्ट दोन विल ऑलवेज बी न्यूट्रल optimistic about bjp and pessimistic about others see this was this was the result that showed if i talk about tone so that was completely neutral see if someone is winning analytical he was not analyzing any situation analytical tab hota hai jab hum kisi situation ko analyze karte hain simply jo whatever result of the outcome whatever outcome was that okay election ka jo bhi aaya tha opposition parties were no where near the bjp concerned acha so, it is absolutely okay ki opposition parties they were no where near the bjp but isn't it something that is the uh, that result suggest Is something that is suggested by the result itself. Tell me, Arun. So I will tell you the difference between tone someday. Okay, neutral means tone means you have to tell you what is the author's tone. ये तो जो भी आप बता रहे हैं, that is fact. That is the fact presented by the author. Okay. tone means you have to tell the author's viewpoint tone doesn't mean ke passage what does passage want okay tone doesn't mean ke what is the information provided by the passage tone means what is the author viewpoint author ka kya viewpoint hai okay so if i talk about the tone of the author the tone so that is what neutral because when and whenever see remember this thing whenever we are presenting any facts jab bhi kisi bhi facts ki baat kar rahe hain so facts will be explanatory facts will be like concerned wo sari cheeze hongi okay sanjeevni yes but the session is bilingual 
so it is what it is neutral and one day i will take one session on uh, tone also so that you get to know ki what is tone and what are these things okay so this was the home uh, this now homework is this guys please use these phrases in a sentence of your own fall off i told you two meanings there were two meanings of fall off so i want you all to use both these words in your own both the meanings in your own okay so this is homework fall out fall off shown off use these phrases in a sentence of your own then only you are going to remember them for a long time okay motivation subah i'm starting me you are late starting my motivation kah ke fir main start karti hu and we will meet at 9 am because today also i am going to discuss the paper of 2020 abps po 2020 paper we will be discussing yesterday we discussed paper of 2019 today will be the discussion of 2020 so everybody make sure to join 9 am session so thank you everyone shubham so, what do you want to uh, listen motivation kya sunna chahte hain shayari to nahi keh sakti main Of course, Abhishek. I will share the link. Okay. Uh, Arun is asking. Yes, but he is not giving just information on what happened. Okay. Yes, Arun. Of course, he is not giving information on just what happened. But what was his approach? Was he concerned about other political parties? Arun, tell me. Thank you, everyone. Others can leave. Shubham, leave it for some other day. Shari and all are not my forte, Shubham. Ah, uh, are you there? Thank you, Hari Krishna. Thank you, everyone. Ah, so yes, so he was not concerned. Ah, so yes, of course, you mean to say he was concerned. if i talk about he concerned means in that say in that sense you can say that he was praising bjp also in that sense we can say that he was praising bjp also so the laudatory laudatory can also be the tone yes it is not good for democracy of course hmm. no what i am asking see he has presented his view points everything but in the same context if you see so he was equally uh, uh, praising bjp also isn't it arun because whenever he was telling about how bjp fortified itself as a party how it uh, not pessimistic see if you start thinking about tone in that way you will get optimistic tone pessimistic tone you will get a uh, concern tone laudatory tone all these things i will take one session on tone then we will discuss this in detail okay arun okay i will definitely try to plan one special session based on all these tones and other things okay thank you everyone